Bill, you're a private investigator. You also call yourself the Coffin Confessor. What do you do? In short, I crash funerals on behalf of the deceased. So, people hire you, they tell you, say, a secret that they have while they're alive, and then they ask you to reveal that truth either at their funeral or when their will is being read? Yeah, it could be at the, the funeral, the wake, the will reading, or it could be a private message to somebody delivered uh, face to face. Um, it's not a, uh, a job for anybody that mm. can just go and do it. It takes a little bit of nerve, but at the same time, it's a request that uh, started, believe it or not, as a joke. Tell us about your first client. Uh, my first client was Graeme. He was a, uh, a gentleman that I'd been investigating a claim for. I got to know him only for a short while. He had cancer. He was close to death. Uh, we got to talking about death and the afterlife and uh, all things surrounding death. And I suggested he do his own eulogy. He said he'd been to plenty of funerals where eulogies just aren't shown out of disrespect or the families just don't show. And so I suggested I crash his funeral for him. And he took me up on the offer, and I did so. What did he want you to say at his funeral? He wanted me to out his best mate for trying to sleep with his wife while he was on his deathbed. Mm. He also asked me to remove three people from the uh, congregation that he hadn't seen in 30 years, so why would they pay him their respects now when they could have you know, seen him when he was alive? And you went through with it? Absolutely. What was the response? Shock. And I'm interrupting a funeral, mm. you know, between you know, loved ones sitting there and grieving and his best mates performing a eulogy and I stand up, interrupt the funeral service and uh, announce that his best mate's got to sit down, shut up or bugger off because the man in the coffin's got something to say and this is what it is. And I'll open the envelope and I'll read aloud exactly what was said. Did the best man stay put, walk out? He left pretty quickly. Why do you think some people take this approach to confess after death? Well, most of it's because they haven't got the strength to get up and punch the people in the face that are hurting them. That's, that's really what it is. I mean, it's not all bad either. I mean, there's, it's good, bad, funny and sad. There's quite a, a range of funerals that I've crashed. How much do you charge? Between two and $10,000, but they don't need the money where they're going and I never get a complaint. You've said that one before, right? Many times. <laughs>